So you have a iPad Pro 11 inch generation first, second, or third, the one that doesn't have a physical home button. And you have an issue where it's constantly in a boot loop. Basically, you'll see like an Apple logo, then it'll turn off, then it'll turn back on. Uh, what it's basically doing is, is just restarting in a continuous cycle, okay? Uh, sometimes when you go ahead and um, it'll restart, it may restart again right away, causing a boot loop, or it may boot back up, and then a few seconds later, it may restart again, okay? Anyway, I'm going to help you guys get you up and running right now. All easy fixes, nothing to do with taking anything apart or replacing anything. Now, these are the um, iPad um, Pro 11-inch, first, second, or third generation, basically the ones that don't have a physical home button down here. Okay, now obviously this one is fixed, but let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop, okay? I see the Apple logo, then it turns off, then it turns back on again, and so on. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and restart it using a special key combination. Now, if you look up here, I have volume up, volume down, and power. So what we want to do is this. We want to go ahead and tap the tap volume up, volume down, and press and hold this power button, and do not let go. Just wait until you see the Apple logo appear, then let go of the power button, okay? So let's pretend I'm stuck in a um, boot loop here. Now do this, ready? We'll do it together, okay? Volume up, volume down, and press and hold this power button, and do not let go. Pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop. I'm still holding onto this power button. I'm not gonna let go until I see the Apple logo appear, okay? Uh, I mean, you wanna hold it for at least 10 seconds, okay? And then when you see the Apple logo, Still holding, Apple logo, let go of the power button quickly. Let it boot up properly and hopefully you are up and running now. If you're still stuck in the boot loop, we're gonna to go to step number two. Okay, so step number two. Now it's possible that your uh, power button is causing the boot loop, okay? Maybe your power, it could, your power button could be stuck or jammed or maybe you got soda or coffee in there or whatnot. So what we wanna do first is, uh, oh yeah. Also, if you have a case, guys, take the case off, okay? Anyway. Power button is here, spam it. Just press it in and out like this multiple times. You know, like I said, it could be stuck or jammed. Just go ahead and spam it like that. Now, put it down. Now go ahead and grab your charging cable and we're gonna plug it in to give it a little bit of power. Now pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop, okay? Now while it is um, plugged in charging, we're gonna do the same thing with the uh, special key combination to uh, restart it, okay? Remember, volume up, volume down, then press and hold that power button. We'll do it together again. Ready, go, volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go. So just keep on holding all while it is plugged in. I'm still holding onto the power button, waiting for that Apple logo to appear. Let's see if it appears here because I kind of let go of the uh, power button by accident. Okay, I didn't do it right because I, I let go for like a brief second. Let's do it again, ready? Volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button and do not let go. So I'm holding onto the power button here just waiting for that Apple logo to appear, okay? But, I mean, wait 10 seconds, okay? So let's pretend I'm still stuck in a boot loop here. Now, where's that Apple logo? Still holding on to the power button, Apple logo. Now let go of the power button and let it boot up and hopefully you are up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop. Next step is this. First thing is good, you can go ahead and unplug it. Now what we're gonna do here is what I call the tap method. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use two fingers, we're gonna lay the iPad on the uh, on your desk use two fingers tap all over the screen and all over the back okay the whole premise behind this is it's possible you have something slightly dislodged and believe it or not a single tap can pop it in place and all of a sudden the boot loop will i mean you'll be out of the boot loop okay so let's pretend i'm still stuck in a boot loop here hold the ipad like this get two fingers and then what you're going to do is tap kind of hard kind of firm okay all over the screen and even though your screen is still stuck in a boot loop as you're doing this for a little bit, it may just go ahead and turn back on and all of a sudden you're into the regular, the regular screen, okay? You're out of the boot loop. So just keep tapping kind of hard all over like this. Same thing on the back, flip it over, same thing all over, okay? Tap all over, okay? Even around the uh, lens here, the camera lens, you wanna get all in the corners here. Maybe on the sides up here, tap there all over all over turn it over and hopefully you are out of the boot loop if you're still in the boot loop no problem we're going to do the same thing again we're going to go ahead and restart it using a special key combination remember volume up we'll do it together ready one more time we'll do it together volume up volume down 
press and hold that power button and do not let go. So keep holding on to the power button. Keep on holding, still holding on to the power button, waiting for that Apple logo to appear, okay? So just wait, like I said, after 10 seconds, then wait for the Apple logo to appear because you might catch the boot loop when the Apple logo appears. So I'm still holding, Apple logo, let go quickly, and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible fix. Okay, so you're still stuck in a boot loop. Next thing we're gonna do is the massage method. Again, go ahead and uh, lay the iPad down. We're gonna go ahead and use two thumbs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press, we're gonna massage all over on the screen and all over the back. Same premise with the tapping. You may have something slightly dislodged, okay? So if you don't wanna get your screen dirty, you can use a, a, a washcloth or a paper towel or something. But basically just press, press, press. Two thumbs, okay? Gotta be kind of firm, press. Just don't crack your screen. Press, press, all over, press. Keep on going, all the way, all over even on the edges here, okay? And again, sometimes you're doing this, all of a sudden you'll be out of the boot loop. Anyway, turn it over, do the same thing on the back. Press, press, press. Sometimes you'll, you'll hear a little tick. If you hear a little like a click, turn your iPad over and wait a little bit and see if it boots up properly, okay? Anyway, just keep on going here. Press, all over. Even around the camera lens, Press, press, in the corners here, press. Just press, okay, just keep on going. Turn it over and see if you're out of the boot loop. If not, then go ahead and restart it, again, using the uh, three key combo. Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo appear, then let go, okay? Well, hopefully you're up and running now, if not, we're going to go to the next step here. So the next step here is what I call the smack method. What we're going to do is we're going to smack the back with a palm of our hand like this and also the screen, all right? Stay, same premise with the uh, tapping and massaging. So you don't have to put a rag on here. I like to put it on here because I have, this, I have my ring on here. I don't want to crack the screen. So just hold your palm out like this. And then it doesn't matter what side you start on. We can start on the back here. Just smack it like that. Also on the bottom back, okay? The bottom of the back. All over, and then see if you're out of the boot loop. If not, from here, same thing. We're gonna go ahead and restart it using a three key combination. Remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go until we've seen Apple logo, then let go quickly. All right, hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're gonna to go to the next possible step. Okay, so the next step is this. Go ahead and grab your iPad while it is in a boot loop. Just grab it just like this, bare naked. I want you to go to your freezer. Put this in your freezer. Leave it in there for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, grab your cold iPad out, out of the freezer and do the same thing with uh, the special key combination to restart it. While it's nice and cold, remember, volume up, volume down, and then press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see an Apple logo appear, then let go of the power button, okay? and hopefully you're up and running. Now, the thing is, if you went through all of these steps and it didn't work for you, then what I would suggest, and it usually doesn't work the first time, usually you have to go two or three times, but what I would suggest is, if it didn't work the first time, try, try every single step in order, second time, didn't work, try it three, four, try it up to at least seven times, sometimes the seventh time is a charm, and if you guys tried all these steps at least seven times, I'm gonna say at least, maybe 65, 70, maybe 65 to 70 percent of you guys should be up and running so if this worked for you go ahead and give me a thumbs up if it didn't give me a thumbs down if, if it worked uh just make sure you um also leave a comment so other people can see uh, what method uh, actually worked for you okay good luck guys